two more women come forward. Art about sexual harassment in detention center. Women in detention centers often do not speak out about sexual misconduct because of fear of any retaliation. More, 97% of sexual abuse reports in detention centers aren't investigated. According to my statesman in just one month three women have claimed to have been sexually harassed by a guard. In the Williamson County Federal Immigration Detention Center, a privately owned facility, two more women have accused guards of sexually harassing them. Grassroots Leadership, an organization that works with communities across the nation to abolish for-profit private prisons, jails, and detention centers, spoke to a woman, identified only as Anna, about a female guard who repeatedly asked her about her sexuality, told her they were going to be together one day, and stared at her inappropriately in the facility's recreational area. Grassroots also said another woman identified as Esmeralda currently at T. Don Hudo, claimed she no longer goes to the recreational area to avoid the same guard. The first person to file a report was a Salvadoran woman named, Laura Monterosa, who is currently at T. Don Hudo. Plus, 15 images that illustrate what life in detention centers is really like the Williamson County Sheriff has given no updates on these incidents, a spokesperson said.